So I've been spending time with my new speakers, watching YouTube, watching movies, and listening to music. And the one thing that I thought about was the Atmos speakers. Up there. These are the Canton AR800s. These are the new Atmos speakers that I have in my room. And what I was wondering, are they best placed on the top of the wall? Or are they best placed on top of the speaker? When it comes to Dolby Atmos, there's a lot of different ways to achieve the sound that you want. But some ways are better than others. What I want to talk about today, is it best to put your speakers on top of your tower speakers? Is it best to put them on top of the wall like mine? Or should you have them in the ceiling? Let's talk about it. So if you guys haven't seen what some of my latest videos, you guys may or may not know that I got new Canton speakers here, including new Dolby Atmos speakers. And I told you guys what I wanted to do was test and see if the placement on the wall is the better option versus putting it on top of the forcing speakers. And I've came to a conclusion. Now, I'm not going to do a demo in this video because you won't be able to hear the difference from a YouTube video. But... With that being said, I will tell you what I have heard and what I have learned. So I've always had the SVS Primes in the back, and now I've added these in the front. And at first, when I first got the speakers, I had these placed on the top here so I can hear the difference. And it's a clear night and day difference for me. What I heard was actually not surprising at all. Now, with them firing up from the speakers, let's talk about that first. When you place your speaker on top of your towers, what you are doing is allowing the sound to go from here, it bounces up to the ceiling, and then meets you at the McDonald's cup there with the, with the chips. <laughs> meets you right there at your, at your couch there. Um, so it's, it's, it's giving you the effect of a height speaker without having to mount a speaker on the wall or on the ceiling. So that's very convenient for most people who don't want to drill holes in their wall or who can't or who those who can't put speakers in their ceiling. It's another option for you um, to get Dolby Atmos out. And you can do the same thing in the front, you can do the same thing in the rear. But this is the last option that you wanna choose. Why? Well, there's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of specifics that you have to have in your room if you're gonna put your speakers on top of your floor standards. You need a short ceiling, which mine works perfectly. You don't want um, taller than an eight foot ceiling, maybe 10 feet max, because the farther away that ceiling is, the less chance of that sound that's gonna reach your ceiling and then back to your ear. It's gonna be diffused sound, meaning it's not gonna be as loud as the rest of your system is. So you're gonna have a hard time even hearing the effects that those speakers are producing. But it does come at the convenience of not having to drill any holes either in your ceiling or in your wall for the screw holes. You have the convenience of it nicely sitting on top here and then getting a general sound. Now, this is doable. Again, you want to have not only 8 foot, 10 foot ceilings, but you want to have flat ceiling. If you have a vaulted ceiling, that sound's going to bounce in totally different directions you're not going to be able to control. So if my speaker's sitting here and I'm firing up my position and it's vaulted, meaning at a triangle, it's going to bounce every which direction, which is not what you want. You want it to bounce directly to your listening section. So this will only work if you have a ceiling that's flat or a ceiling that's short. Actually, you need both. Um, so that may not work for everybody. Another issue with having your Dolby Atmos speaker sitting on top of your floor standards firing to the ceiling is the fact that you're not going to be able to know that that angle is perfect and at pointing to your listening position. So what I mean here is these speakers are fixed at a certain size. So if you look here in the back, you see it's curved ever so slightly and you can't really adjust it. Although you can probably add something underneath it to kind of change its level or whatever, but you never really know if you have the correct angle from the speaker to your ceiling to your listening position. We don't know. Well, you, there's ways of finding out. We really don't know for the casual, list, casual listener, the casual person. We really don't know if you're getting that perfect angle so that that sound's reaching your ear when it's supposed to. It has a lot of delay. There's a lot of different things that um, come to factor when you're using Atmos speakers on top of your, your speakers here. Or maybe you have built-in speaker like Klipsch has a speaker where it's built-in. Some other companies do. You really just don't know if that's the angle that you need for your, for your speaker. 
especially when it's built in, because the placement of your speakers will really decide on how good your Atmos will sound. So there's a lot of tricks that um, come into place whenever you use Atmos speakers on top of your floor standards that really makes this the last resort. This is the last option you want to use if you're going Atmos. So let's talk about the wall speakers. Now I've been using wall speakers or wall mounted Dolby Atmos speakers for several years now since Dolby Atmos came out. And I've had different speakers in the front here and I've always had my prime elevations in the backside. Um, and this is what I, I really like the sound here. This is a big step up from having them on top of your floor standing speakers or whatever speakers you're using. It's a big step up because one, they're up at the height that you really want them to be for Atmos. You want Atmos to of course be above you um, so that you can get that overhead feeling. The best way to get an effect is to put a speaker in that spot. So if you want um, effect speakers at top, put a speaker up top. If you want surround sound speakers on the side, put a speaker on the side. That's kind of how it works in home theater. If you want sound there, put some sound there. Um, so with that being said, these wall speakers are again angled downward so that you can point them at your listening position. Both the rears and the fronts are angled downward so that you can hear them fired at your listening position. This is so much better than putting them on top of your speakers because again, it's just diffused sound. It's sound that's reflecting from the ceiling and it's going wherever it wants to go, not necessarily to your seat, but these are angled downward by design to reach your listening position and you get a much more believable effect and a much louder effect. That's one thing that I hate about these when I was using them down here. It was very hard for me to hear that they were active. I had to really turn up the volume on the Atmos side of things to get some type of effect. So I could hear it, but it almost felt like it was placebo. I was telling myself I was hearing it when I wasn't. Um, with these, there's no doubt that I'm hearing what I'm supposed to be hearing because they're slanted downward. The driver is slanted downward and so is the tweeter towards your ear so that you can get a believable presence. So this is the way to go. If you're going to get Atmos speakers and you don't have the option to put them in your ceiling, that's the next best choice for you is putting them right there at top. Um, this is the last resort if you have a wife that you don't want that doesn't want holes in her wall or ceiling, or maybe you don't want to do that yourself. You don't have to, but this is the last resort if you don't want to put them on the wall or in the ceiling. But this is my go-to. This is how I run Dolby Atmos. I keep them as high up on the wall as I can, and then I point them downwards. I would love to angle these um, towards the position um, as far as horizontal goes. Because vertically, they point down, of course, but they don't point directly at my least listening position. So I would love to angle them down. But other than that, they sound really convincing. And this is the way that I do Dolby Atmos. So let's talk about the number one way. This is the way you should go with Dolby Atmos. That's going to be putting them in the ceiling. Dolby Atmos in the ceiling is the best way to run Dolby Atmos. So what I mean in the ceiling is that you're going to have... Typically um, a six and a half, five and a half, maybe a little bit smaller in your ceiling above your listening position, fire down. You'll have some just slightly in front of your position, pointing down towards your listening position there or wherever you are. And this is the best way to have Dolby Atmos because the speakers are exactly where they're supposed to be, which is above your head. And they're fired down towards the listening position. And that gives you the best representation of Dolby Atmos, DTSX, or DD, whatever you're gonna be using, that's gonna give you the best um, replication of thunder or maybe there's a plane or there's some debris flying, flying, flying across from you, um, you'll be able to replicate that much, much better when it's above your head. So if you have the means of putting speakers above you, whether that's in ceiling speakers or if you have beams on your ceiling and you can mount some bookshelves or whatever you want to do up there, that's the best way to do Dolby Atmos. That's number one and most recommended way to do it. The wall setup is if you don't have um, good ceilings or you can't put speakers in your ceiling. Like for me, I live in an apartment. There is somebody directly above me. I can't put speakers there. I'll be drilling into his floor. <laughs> so I can't put speakers in my ceiling. So I have to opt for this. This is the second option for you. And then last but not least, this is the third way for you if you can't do either of those two. So for me, what was the difference? Again, I've never experienced in my own home Dolby Atmos speakers above me, but I have heard that. And that will always and forever be the number one way to listen to Dolby Atmos, DTSX, or all 3D. If you're at home in an apartment or a home you don't plan on staying in forever, or you don't want to drill, putting stuff on the wall is the next best way. Angle them down toward your listening position 
and you can really get some really good effects going that way. And then last but not least, you do have what people call the bouncy house effect, where you fire your speakers upward and bring them down. Now, a lot of people use non-Dolby Atmos um, certified speakers to put on here. So maybe you have a bookshelf that you're not using and you want to angle it. It's probably going to do just fine. It probably wouldn't be any worse than having a Dolby Atmos module. It won't look good. Um, it'll be a different kind of sound most likely. But if you want Dolby Atmos and you have some speakers laying around, you probably could get away with putting some up here and firing to the ceiling and putting them down. Or you could even mount some bookshelves that you have or satellites up here and fire them down and get some effects that way. So if you don't have dedicated Dolby Atmos modules like the AR800s or the Prime Elevations, it's okay. Any speaker honestly will do its job up there if you have it angled correctly and calibrated the right way. But I recommend getting dedicated Dolby Atmos modules because they'll be flatter against the wall. They'll have their own keyholes for the screws. And then, of course, they're already by design angled down to the position. So guys, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Dolby Atmos, DZX, or OLED D. How do you guys have it set up in your home? If you're running Dolby Atmos, OLED D, um, or DTSX, let me know in the comments down below, how do you run it? Do you use the bookshelf speaker kind of thing on top of the speakers, Atmos modules on top of speakers and you point them to the ceiling? Do you use the wall method where you have them pointed down to your list musician or do you use it the way that Dolby wants you to use it, which is inside the ceiling? Let me know that in the comments down below. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're not already. We will see you guys in the next video. KPSK out. Peace.